hi this is the first time I'm seeing you uh, hello it's really nice to meet you guys and I hope hopefully some of you guys will see this uh, I'm really excited about starting a YouTube channel and I thought I would kind of start a bit easy and talk about yeah, I'm just gonna... I would kind of start with talking about uh, one of the main one of the books that I have read recently uh, and it's a part of my new project that I decided to do uh, in order to kind of expand the way that I see literature so I wanted to read a bit more uh, book for adults so not just in fantasy novels and stuff that I usually uh, read but uh, books that are yeah aimed towards, towards adults and might have a bit of more different language and different plots so I decided that I would read uh, one book from every recipient of the Nobel Prize since the year I was born and I was born in uh, 1998 so I have about 18 books to read uh, from 18 different authors and not all are authors of course, some are poets and stuff so I hope, I'll, hopefully I will be able to try out a lot of new kinds of books in literature uh, but I thought I was kind of it felt nice to start off with the most recent recipient, and that is uh, Svetlana Alexievich. I have read uh, this book, and yeah, I think in English it's called Wars and Womanly Face, but it it it's about uh, women from the Soviet Union that kind of uh, work during the war, and they worked with the war, so they a lot of them were kind of working for hospitals and engineers and stuff um, and I think that's something that we usually neglect. I don't think of women on the front lines of war. It feels really weird and I don't think a lot of people do because I didn't know they were there. Uh, so I think it's really important that she kind of shines a light on that to show us that yeah women can be in the front lines and they have been in the front lines for a long time. Because uh, she also said that, you know, that it's not just during World War II that these women have been there. They have been there all the time, just they don't get to talk about it. Um, so it's really important that they get to come through in literature. And this is a book that's kind of different from many other books that I have read because it doesn't really have a plot. It doesn't start with a start and then something happens and it's romance and then it ends but it's more like segments from different interviews that she has done so it can be all from a quarter of a page to 20 pages uh, where it's just kind of uh, a story that someone has t told her a woman has told her about her life uh, in the war zone and what she did there and what she felt um, and it's quite different war stories because uh, usually you kind of talk about uh, the importance of a battle or how many died and what kind of made it possible and how it affected the war but this is more feeling it tells you how the everyday life was on the front lines how the women used to take the leftover bags from food to make clothes because they wanted to feel uh, like women again to have skirts and dresses and it's really something I have never thought of before and it's quite a strong book but it's very very depressing it doesn't have many happy endings you know it's very much blood and pain and you know war isn't glorified anymore as it was earlier now we all feared the war and we would never ever want to experience anything like that and I think this book just kind of makes that uh, impression a lot stronger um, and I also thought of like the women that they don't get to say what they experienced during the war because uh, when she comes to these women and interview them they often tell her that they, uh, their husband has told them not to talk about the war that they're supposed to recite the number of death or how many they saved they're not supposed to tell what they felt or how they experienced the war. Uh, they want to, them to tell the official story. And I think that uh, Svetlana does a great job with kind of 
going around those lines and kind of getting into the feeling of the war rather than what happens. The way people deal with it and how it affects them afterwards. Because uh, uh, a lot of these women, they were very respected at the front lines. They were kind of equal to the men. But then when they got back, nobody wanted to be their husbands. Uh, because I don't even know why, but they weren't seen as women anymore. And they weren't seen as men either. They weren't as good as men and they were not women. Because they had done things that women aren't supposed to do. They had seen and done things that women aren't supposed to see in our perception of how women are. Um, and I think this is a very important book in order to kind of change the way we see women. So it, it's a book that you learn a lot from. I am I was really interested by the book, but it's also a book that you don't want to read many times because it's very very hard to read. It's not a difficult language. It's not boring at all. But it's just so many emotions that it actually is based on real events and real feelings. It feels like it's it's not fiction. It's actually like kind of reportage, you know, that they uh, to tell the stories and she kind of writes them down but makes them feel a bit more beautiful. She makes them a bit more like literature. So maybe, I don't know what, how she does it. I don't, I don't know how much of these pages that are actual like word by word quotations or that are just kind of what they have said and then she changed it into a more literary way of seeing it but I feel to me what I can understand was that I can feel the women behind their words I feel like uh, depending on who she's quoting you get a different type of feeling all the stories have very nice sentences and they feel very put together so they feel like they have been fixed a bit, you know, uh, from when you talk about just in uh, an interview, I don't think you would be able to put the words that beautifully. Uh, but maybe she's, you know, taking fragments from here and there in the interview and kind of put it together into a nice text. Uh, but I think she's done a great job and I also think it's very important that she kind of takes a text that is beautiful to read, but also very emotional. And at the same time, it's real, and it it isn't. It kind of gives a soul to the literature, and a meaning to why we should read. Because you learn a lot when you read this book. You get new experiences, and I this is a book that I have been, I have been thinking about since I read it, and I read it quite a long time ago. I think about one one month ago or something, and it's still something that kind of comes up in my mind from time to time. So I really think that she's done a great job in engaging people in new issues uh, by writing these books that are very they kind of like reportages but a super super long reportage for a magazine uh, and you get a whole number of perspectives from the same issue so it's really nice just by seeing the same situation from many points of views you can get a wider understanding of how it was yeah, I think I have le learned so much from this book. And I also, she, I know she has written a book about uh, Afghanistan's fighters there. So hopefully I will be able to read that one as well. Uh, but I would super much recommend this book. I think most bookstores have it because, yeah, she's got the Nobel Prize and it's quite interesting. It also feels really good when you're on the uh, pl public transport and you kind of pull this one up and it's looking kind of like you're really smart. But hopefully you have enjoyed watching this. I know I am. Um, I have been quite nervous today actually to be honest. So if you notice that I will try to be more relaxed next time. But uh, hopefully you have liked it and maybe you want to do this challenge as well. It would be really fun if you did and we could talk about it and it would be really nice. Uh, but I will see you soon hopefully. Uh, bye!